Hi internet, so sorry for the terrible lighting, but I moved all my equipment and then remembered that I have to record an intro. So here's my intro. I am doing my bookshelf tour thing. Um, I have tidied them up a teensy bit and by tidying them up a teensy bit, I mean stuff has been moved up there and the books that were missing have now been put back on the shelf. That's, that's the way I tidy. So yeah. It hasn't been resorted or anything, so you get to see the fun of how that's looking at the moment. But yes, let's get into it. So the first shelf is my top shelf, which the only part of books is my Marvel um, collection that I'm slowly getting. So that's how many books I have now. I've got my fact files here. I've only just moved up there, and um, it's so new that my painting that's normally up there fell down as I put them up there, and I. I'm like, I'm gonna have to do something with the bookcase to get it out, so why get it? I've also got like my giant key and an Iron Man lunchbox up there, so that's that's cute. Here's an overview of shelf one. I think I'm just gonna like sh scan over all the books and stuff. Anyway, here's shelf one. I'm not gonna move any of these books in this area. So we're starting with this side. These are all the black books slash series slash not all of them are series, I just realised, but I like them. So we've got The Hunger Games down here with Catching Fire and Mockingjay, and I just realised my nail polish is chipped. Sexy. Then we have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, The Mammoth Book of Dark Magic. Um, I've read like a chapter out of both of these, so I need to read more. Then you have Daughter of Smoke and Bones and Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. I have read Daughter of Smoke and Bones but not Days of Blood and Starlight. You have the Healer series or trilogy. I found out the name for it finally. Uh, by Marie V. Schneider. So Scent of Magic, Touch of Power, Taste of Darkness. Easily one of my favourite book series. The next one is Acid by Emma Pass. Um, I love this one too. It's like future, kind of dystopian, and it's about a girl whose life is ripped away from her and now she wants it back as she discovers everything that has happened and she was in jail and she's a total bounce. Okay, the next section starts with my Harry Potter books right here. I am still only up to The Order of the Phoenix and I need to finish reading it but I've had like a break it from Harry Potter. Then we have Aftermath, The Aftermath by Jen Alexander, which is a dystopian that I haven't read. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which I've read a chapter of. And The Thirteenth Child by Patricia Wurr. Frontier Magic Book 1, which I love and I need to get the hardcover of all the books. Next we'll start with the books that are in Vertically. So in this section we have A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickinson, because I'm trying to read this for December. And I refuse to put away because I will forget about it. I'm only like 23 pages in. Yeah. Then we have my Divergent series by Veronica Roth. We have the Spyglass series, the Glass series by Maria V. Schneider. I think it's called Glass. I don't know. We have uh, the Elena novels. I think that's what they're still called by Maria V. Schneider or the Study series. Then we have my Throne of Glass series by Sarah Damas. So these are pretty much like all my favorite books. This is my favourite shelf kind of slash books that I haven't read yet, so I don't know if I hate them. <laughs> In our horizontal, we have four, a Divergent collection by Veronica Roth. That will move down here one day when I have the matching cover. And then Acid's going to have to go, but we'll work that out then. <laughs> then I have The Old Kingdom, which is Sebriel, whatever, whatever, by Gareth Nix. Have not read it yet. Need to. And they look so pretty that they have to go with all the colours all the colours. That's pretty much the only thing that's planned with this is all the colours. <laughs> then we have We Are Liars by E. Lockhart. I fucking love this book. Um, the Queen's Choice by Carla Cliver. I have bit way into it. It's about fae or fairies and it's awesome. But I need to get back into it. <laughs> it's bad. Then I have The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet, which I have not read yet, but I need to, and I love the web series. And Half Bad by Sally Green, which I'm fucking in love with and can't wait to Half Wild. Next shelf. Now we have the second shelf, which is pretty packed. Okay, so starting here we have Memoirs of a Geisha that I am halfway through reading and really need to finish reading, but I love the movie. Then we have Talon, which I have not read. 
Then we have Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, which I have to read. Then we have Indelible and Invisible by Dawn Metcalf. I love Indelible, need to read Invisible. I then have Sh Dance of Shadows by Elena Black, have not read. It's like something like, her sister went to the dance academy and died or went missing and now she's going to that dance academy and she wants to solve the murder. We have Bracelet of Bones by Kevin Crossholland, which I'm not going to lie, I brought because of the cover and it's pretty and it's about Viking. Looking for Alaska by John Green, which is just on its own, away from all of the John Green novels. Then we have the selection series, including the novella, which I have not read the novella, but I'm a bit eh on the selection, so who cares. Next we'll go with the vertical books first. So we have Snow Like Ashes, which I haven't finished reading yet. Then Shadow Bones, which I love, Siege and Storm, which I couldn't read because I was still too emotionally abused from Shadow and Bones. Then we have the Cinder Chronicles, which I have to buy a different version of Scarlet now they see them on camera because like it's just annoying me. Then I have Death Note, Another Note, Los, Los Angeles BB Murder Cases, which is just like a light novel. Um, I have my two copies of The Fault in Our Stars separated. Then I have Will Grayson, Will Grayson, Chosen, The Elmstone Saga by Shayla Morganson, which should be over here, but it stays with the hard cover. I really need to move that actually now that I've seen it. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> kind of mad that it's not with the hard covers, but it needed to happen. Okay, let's go for horizontal. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, The Warrior Heir, An Abundance of Catherine's Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac, Have Read, Haven't, Both Loved. Then I have A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, and Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. I'm reading both of these and need to finish them so they don't go anywhere else but here. Okay, so you've got Wayfair and Nameless from a series that's name I forget by Lily St. Crow. They're meant to be twists on fairy tale retellings. I haven't read A Perfect Blood by Kim Harrison, which is like a mystery fantasy. She's a witch, people want her blood. Wait, witch turned daywalker or something. Then you have Hunted by Elizabeth he Heather, which is like murderer and they've got a profile on them and they're all like the profile will never catch me I'm a woman killer and I need to read it <laughs> the storyteller on his three daughters which I need to finish reading and so far it has been awesome but I just take it in little parts because it's kind of contemporary and I just do that with contemporaries for some reason the bone season by Samantha Shannon need to read <laughs> daughters of the storm by Kim Wilkins need to read it's about like five daughter that father was five daughters and they're like gonna protect the kingdom or some bullshit and it sounds awesome even though I just called it some bullshit the disruption and corruption by Jessica Shivington a duology it's awesome dystopian about Maggie I've talked about it a few times on the channel so go find it there the fool's assassin by Robin Hobb which I keep seeing so I brought it haven't read need to read probably just brought it because of the word assassin Another kind of overview of the shelf. I need to sort out my other bookcases and fix that because I have way too many books at the moment. But yes, I'm at the, the next shelf. So we have the Tello series by Karen Brooks. I have started reading Tello, I'm about halfway through, then I put it down because I didn't want what was going to happen to happen. And I need to pick it back up because the other two books I really want to read. And then I have Dangerously Placed by Nancy Coons and I love that book. It's like all tech and stuff and futuristic and Australian. Okay, now let's go horizontal. So we've got The Nine Lives of Chloe King, which is also a se like a TV series that I have not watched, but I want to finish reading the book and then I will watch. I've only read two chapters, so you're finding there's going to be a lot of these. Then I have a Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, which is the first in the Game of Thrones series, and I need to finish reading. I also need to finish watching season three. The Messenger by Daniel Silva, haven't read. Book of Souls by Glenn Cooper, haven't read. <laughs> Dan Brown, Angels and Demons, haven't read. Then I have Last Breath and 18 Seconds by George D. Shunman. I have read 18 Seconds. It is a 
story about a woman who, when she touches some a dead body, she sees the last 18 seconds of someone's life. It's all murder and mystery and delicious, but it's really full on. I have started Last Breath, I need to finish it, but it's really full on. Then you have The Prophecy Ruined by Sam Bowring, I haven't read, and The Graveyard Position by Robert Bernard, I love it. It's I don't know, kind of mystery. Nothing really happens in it, but I enjoyed the read. We have The Giver by Lewis Laurie. Um, I've been hearing lots of stuff about it since I brought it, so I really need to read it, but I have to read it. Then I have The Scorch, Scorch Trials by James Stashner, which is the second book in the Maze Runner, which is like a, two, a book underneath it right here. Um, I picked it up, need to read it one day. <laughs> I have Pawn by Amy Carter, which was good. The second book is out, but I haven't seen it anywhere. I forget what it's called. So I will be picking that up soon and probably making a review on it. Okay. Then we have the Spellcaster series by Claudia Gray, which is a really good, like, it's witch, but it's fairly teenage, middle grade rather than YA. I still like it, but some things I have issues with. Then I have the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick, which I need to read. <laughs> then I have two books from the Lux series, which I need to read. I need to get, I want to get the other two books before I pick it up though. Then we have The Broker by Barney Stimson, Stimson, whatever. Horns by Joe Hill, which I need to read. It's on my TBR and I need to read it but I just haven't been reading. Then I have The Magician by Raymond E. Fitz, which is apparently like the original magician book or something. It it looks really cool and I need to read it. I've seen it in a lot of places and thought I'd pick it up. Then I have The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. I think I'm going to tackle that one in Christmas break, like in my four days that I have off over Christmas because I really need to think about that book. And then I have, then I have Toxic Heart and Mystic City by Theo Lawrence, which they both look good, future dystopian kind of things. Paper Towns by John Green, which I need to read. No, sorry, I need to finish reading, especially considering there's a movie coming out. Is there a movie coming out with that one? I think it is. Eleanor and Park by Rimbo Rowell. I've started reading. It's good. It's just contemporary, so I put it down. <laughs> Solitaire by... Alice Lohman, I need to read. Nearly Departed by Rook Hastings, I need to continue reading. Um, I borrowed it from the library, started reading it, but had to return it before I could finish it, and I put it down, and then I brought it, so that's a thing. Side Effects May Vary by Swan Murphy. It's I've heard good things about the book. The protagonist is a bitch, and I need to continue reading it. I just, I think the start of it kind of put me off. And then Vertically. I have Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick, which I brought because the synopsis sounded cool, but now I'm hearing things about it and I don't know if I want to read it, but I will eventually. Um, the Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, need to read. Thieves and Magic by Trudy Canavan, I need to finish reading. Um, I'm halfway through, but again, something was about to happen to the character that I didn't want to happen, so I put it down. Also, side note, I love the spine because it's a paperback book, but it's made to look like an old book and there's fire and ugh. Then I have Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill, which I only just realised the other day was by Joe Hill. I need to read. It's about a guy who buys a ghost off um, eBay and it's more than he bargained for. Yes. Next. Here's kind of an overview of this shelf because I'm too close to it to do a full view. So here I have my overflow of Encyclopedia Botanica, which are on the bottom shelf. I have my... Um, children's origin stories for Marvel characters. I have my two graphic novels of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I need to read, but they look super cool. Um, I'm just too scared to read them in work because I remember the movies. And then I have Burn Bright by that person. It's a good book. I need to finish reading the rest of the series. It's, it's kind of creepy, but I like it. Okay, then just because it's random and out of place, I have Three, like, nursery rhyme, fairy tale, bedtime storybooks, which are just a collection of all the old ones. It's really good. Then I have my Patricia Colmwell section, which I'm just going to do an overview of because I'm really too lazy to read all of them. 
Um, I have a feeling that some are missing now that I'm looking at how short this pile is. So I'm going to have to find them. Or I just don't have as many as I thought I did or I had something else there. I don't know, but yeah, that's how I keep them because they're either large or small. Eventually I will be buying more books so I'm going to have to move these, but that's another day. You'll get Shaky Handheld. It's just an overview of Encyclopedia Botanica. Um, those lights need to be done something with. And that's how I have my lights hooked up. Usually this is all hidden away, but I keep pulling it out when I start videos. Also, mess. Underwear was just here that got moved, so that's that. Okay, so this is like the top part of my uh, next bookcase. Thought about not trying it to, then decided to, because you're seeing videos anywhere and I wasn't going to clean it. So you have Ghost Guy, which behind him is a picture from my 21st. <laughs> and he will come down one day, but I love him too much to put him away, even though Halloween is over. Then we have just like body spray, the two. If you can see, they're the bookmarks I got from Weta Workshop when I went to see them at Supernova. There's some teddies, a picture of my mum and I on my 21st, a clock my brother gave me, um, my can of drink that I've been drinking this video, and that symbol, and some books which I shall now show you. So the books are just like the Great Encyclopedia, Fairies, Winnie the Pooh, and then the Tales of Gloucester and the Tales of Benjamin Bunny by Beatrix Potter. Okay, this is the next level, which isn't seen a lot. You've got my Lord of the Rings side, and just like, this is a thing from my 18th that has heaps of pictures in it, that's me and my dad, um, matches, and an ad symbol, because I have two of them. I think I have three. I called up my Lord of the Rings section, but it's my J.R. Tolkien, so I have the Fall of Arthur, which I know I have a dust jacket for somewhere. I put it away somewhere safe. Ew. I have my two copies of The Hobbit, my edition of Omnibus, whatever, of Lord of the Rings. And then I have my separate editions of Lord of the Rings, including two Return of the Kings. So I have The Devil Wears Prada, which I haven't been able to read. Um, the Meaning of Sunglasses, which was just a weird like book about different fashions. Then I have the copy of The Princess Diaries, which I think is my oldest book, although I can't remember ever actually finishing it. Um, then we get into the manga, so I have book one of The Mark of the Succubus, book volume one and five of Kiss Me, Kill Me, Kiss Me. I have three books with volumes one through to twelve of D. Grey Man. I have Bleach, um, official character Book of Souls. And I have taken by Yush Yumi Yumi Yumiko Shiri. Um, I will read that one day. I just need to. And then I have Ghost Hearts and the Witch of Cockney, which I haven't read, but I need to. Then I have A Place Called Here, which is also an old book that I haven't read. I started reading the other day, other month, and it's cool, but, you know. Also, these teddies are from my 21st and my 18th. Everyone signed them at the party. Then I have Animity by E.J. Andrews. I have a mammoth book of unsolved crimes, which I need to read. I have the two volumes of The House of Secrets, which I need to read. Vampire Academy, which I kind of gave up on. House um, Evernight series by Claudia Gray, which I have to read. Bottom shelf, you have my uh, model instruments, hardcovers, and my one. Clockwork Angel, which I need to read, and two small books about Aries in different years. And then you have my textbooks, um, and just different books. So Vet Nursing, Veterinary Dictionary, a, another something guide to nursing, two children's books that I don't know, and then just a couple of random ones over there, and a couple of random ones over there, and a pile of mess. Another overview of the top, so I have like family pictures, my two pictures with different hobbits, then I have a <laughs> sheet of paper that has different tags on it, incense, my bowl of names, perfume and a, like a lipstick and a fucking mascara. Okay, this is 
overview of the three shelves. This is the one that I need to like rearrange so that I can add more books into here. Okay, so Anna Green Gables and Anne of Averly, Oliver Twist, Withering Heights, Sense and Sensible, Emma, Matilda, The Great Gatsby, Aunt Jane Austen, The Red Thread, A Child Called It. A lot of these are classics. This is kind of the classics area, this shelf. Or just light coloured, hard covered books and contemporaries. Those Who Came Before by Elizabeth Someone, The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Flynn. I need to read those two. Um, the Faraway Tree Stories, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I also need to get Alice in Wonderland. I have Heidi, um, my Sherlock Holmes, Worlds Between Us, haven't read Dark Places by Kate Grinsville. I have read this slowly. I'm halfway through. He's like, uh, 19th century and he's like a misogynistic asshole but it's all his struggles with life like being a fat kid and being an outcast constantly and I just it's so good because it's a different from mine but I can get severely depressed from reading it. Then I have my adventures of Sherlock Holmes and the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes and To Kill a Mockingbird. I need to finish To Kill a Mockingbird. Next one. This is a bit of a mixer shelf. So I have my um, select stories of Sherlock Holmes, which I need to put in a better spot. I also have light bulbs for my lights that I use. I have a art project that I did where I destroyed a book in high school. It hurt me. Um, I have two stamps. My favourite is I'll Tell the Dog You Died. Then I have like a small diary, a schedule diary that I had this year. Um, Instant Vocabulary, which is from like the 70s, and Wreck This Journal, which I'm working on, and I have to be in certain moods to do. Okay, next shelf. This is what that shelf looks like. This is the reason why this is the bookshelf that needs to be reorganised. Okay, so I've got like... Beastly by someone Flynn. Um, zombie Dictionary. Um... Library of the Dead, haven't read. The Devil's Bone, have not read. The Green Mile, haven't read yet. Blood Memory, haven't read but need to. The Immortal Rule, which was like an arc that I got in a magazine. And I need to finish reading because I got through the first section and need to continue on to the next one. Um, Unbreakable... All Our Yesterdays, Uprising, haven't read any of those. Oh, I've read All Our Yesterdays, which is like time travel, and I think it's cool, so I'm going to have to continue reading that. This shelf is different creams and sprays that really I could probably get rid of and put somewhere else. Then I have like all my Sims 2 games and a couple of DVDs and series. I love Please Like Me. Just, oh, it's awesome. And we have the shelves. So I have my Fallen series by Lauren Kate, um, South of Hell and An Echo on the Bone. I really want to read An Echo on the Bone, but it's going to need some investment time. Then I have that one that's name I can't read at this angle, another one that's name I can't read at the ang this angle, Swamp, and a couple of old looking books and Clockwork Orange, which is just cool when they go together. Then I have my Jane Austen omnibus, because I brought up one day. And my Twilight series, The Host, and Zombie Blondes. Also, I just realised that for most, for some part of that, probably the end part, I was zoomed in slightly. Which would explain why it was so hard to get things in the shot, unless I just did that. But yes, yeah, so that was my bookshelf tour thing, showing you an overview of how I keep my books itching my, no and in my nose. It's what we do. Yeah, so I'm showing you like how I keep my books kind of and what this all looks like. Usually I just remember my Cards Against Humanity is where the um, globes are in that one square. But hey, now the real task of this editing because it's taken me probably a good hour to film it at least. And now I have to edit and it is two in the morning. So gay me. I just give myself more work. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Bye!